Tain had already been barred from the hospital after the police issued him with a Navo, but when Tain asked Nurse Dana if she would allow him onto the ward to say goodbye, he took advantage of her brief absence by fleeing the hospital with the baby. With Tain hiding out at Cousin Kiri's house, it was down to Molly and social worker Harper to talk him into giving himself up. Dane was swiftly bundled into a cell at Yabby Creek Police Station charged with kidnapping, and it was down to Rose to decide whether Molly and Harper should also face charges for not coming forward as soon as they learned of Tane's whereabouts. In the weeks afterwards, Tane continued to be his own worst enemy as he sulked about the situation. Originally refusing to talk to his lawyer, figuring there was no point in fighting against the charges, Harper and Tane's ex-wife Felicity ambushed him and tried to make him see sense. In the meantime, the lawyer in question, Marshall, had been brought to the bay by Harper in the hope that Tane would meet with him, but when he found himself stood up, he ended up chatting to Flick and Salt, both unaware of who the other was. The two slept together, which made for a pretty awkward meeting the next day when Tane finally agreed to meet with Marshall and Salt. Felicity was mortified when she realized, and it didn't take long for Tane to overhear Flick talking with Marshall and discover that his lawyer had hooked up with his ex-wife. Dane's subsequent mood caused him to miss his bail check-in at the police station, and when he rocked up over two hours late and stubbornly refused to give an explanation to Rose, she had no choice but to lock him up. Marshall met with Tane and convinced him to let him carry on representing him, with the promise that he would do all he could to keep him out of prison, and Rose let Tane go on the condition that he wouldn't stuff up again. There was surprise all round when Poppy's mum Sonia agreed to testify on Tane's behalf with Marshall sure that it would provide a good chance of the court being swayed in Tane's favor. But in the meantime, Harper and Dana found themselves subpoenaed to testify against Tane, something Dana has since been struggling with, terrified that she will say the wrong thing and land Tane in prison. As he took a walk through the parklands in his suit, Flick had phoned to warn him of a gunman on the loose, only for Tane to immediately catch sight of Sydney. He gave chase but Sidney hit him over the head with his rifle bag and sent him flying. Tane was taken to hospital by Cash, Nicholas Cartwright, and Flick, but was fortunately found to not have any lasting damage. I think he's accepted his fate, Ethan tells TV Week. He realizes his mistake and understands that it could mean serious jail time, so he's mentally preparing himself for the worst. He understands how the system works and believes everything doesn't sit in his favor. As a promo for tonight's episode shows, Dana faces a grilling from the prosecution when she takes the stand. Last seen in the case against Irene, Prosecutor Matthew responds to Dana's statement by suggesting that Tane had taken advantage of her kindness, and manipulated her into letting him visit the baby. Tane can see Dana is struggling and asks Marshall if he can step in to help her, but there's nothing he can do as she's the prosecution's own witness. Back at the diner, Dana is sure she's ruined things for Tane, when Harper then lands a bombshell. Sonia has changed her mind about testifying for Tane. Tane's whole case was resting on having Poppy's mother on his side, and as a result, Harper doesn't think Tane stands a chance. As a last resort, Marshall calls Tane himself to the stand. Tane questions him, pointing out that he'd previously told him that it would be a bad idea, but Marshall points out that they're now out of options. Knowing that he could be facing 15 years imprisonment, Tane reluctantly takes his place. Tane is stunned however when Marshall changes tack and brings up his history with Flick in the hope it will help his defense. Whilst it's the best thing Marshall can come up with on the spot, Tane doesn't appreciate having to wear his dirty laundry in the courtroom. He's not happy about it at all, Ethan continues. He feels it was a dirty move by Marshall, and by Felicity for telling him their private business. As the day in court comes to a close, there appears to be an unexpected development with Tane and Harper as they await news of his fate. When they reconvene in court the following day, it's time for the judge to deliver her verdict. The last time we saw this particular judge, she was sentencing Colby to 25 years in prison. Thankfully, for Tane at least, it appears that the judge lets him off pretty lightly, 